Hi mathematicians, in today's video we're looking at time series, looking at the skill of mean smoothing with even numbers, and that involves centering. So let's jump straight into it. So the context, the table below shows the number of letters in total for the last 10 text messages sent by an individual. So as you can see, the first SMS has 88 letters right through to the 10th SMS message has 66 letters. And we've got two tasks we need to perform. Task number one, we want to perform a two point moving average smooth with centering. And task number two, we want to perform a four point moving average smooth with centering. Average smooths are also called mean smoothing. So here's our table. And our first task is a two point moving average smooth with centering. The name of this smoothing gives away a little bit of detail. It's got two points involved. It's to do with average or a mean. And it also has centering. So let's have a look at the two-step process for performing a two-point moving average smooth with centering. So the first task we need to do is complete the smoothed column. So here's our smoothed column, the third column in this particular diagram. So we're going to take the two bits of data from message one and message two, and we're going to average them out. So it's 88 plus 79 divided by two, and that comes out to a value of 83.5. And that's the average of one and two. So we align that in the middle between message one and two. We then repeat that, we move down one. And we're now averaging the letters involved with message two and three. So that is 79 plus 83 divided by two equals 81. And we're doing this because this is a two point moving average smooth. Two points and we're finding the average. We move down a further one and that works out an average of 81.5 as per our calculation. And again, this is a line between message three and four. We move down one more, we do that again, we get 76.5 and we continue doing that process until we get to the very last pair of data. Message nine has an SMS message of 71 letters and message 10 has an SMS message of 66 letters, the average of which is 68.5 and that's a line between nine and 10. So far, this is involving two point moving average or mean smooth. That's a normal two point moving average smooth. What we need to do next is center our data. And the reason we need to center our data is that we can't plot smooth data against a 1.5 or the second smooth point against 2.5. It doesn't work. Time series requires a Y variable to be plotted against an exact number for our time code on the X variable. So for that reason, we now need to center our data. And that's actually a very simple step. When we center, we're averaging out our two smooth points. So let's go right back to the top again. Our first two data points, we had a smooth value of 83.5 and a second smooth value of 81.0. When I average those two, I get a value of 82.3. And that now can be aligned, or we use the term centered, against message number two. So 88 and 79, with the two point moving average gave us 83.5. Then 79 and 83 with the two point moving average gave us 81. Now to center that against a reference point, because at the moment these two are centered between 1.5 and 2.5, we average these two, this is called centering against number two. We then move down one more time. We're now doing an average of 81 and 81.5. So we add them together, divide by two, we get an average value of 81.3 and that is now centered against message three, and we continue this process. So 79 is centered against message four, 74.3 is centered against message five, 74.3 against six, 75.8 against seven, 72.3 against eight, and the final one, 69 is centered against nine. So this is how we center our data. So there's our complete table. Our original data is in the first two columns. We then have our smooth data, which is a two point moving average, and then we center each one of these points, these two together, average out to 82.3 and center it against two, all the way down to the final two bits of smooth data, average to 69 and center it against message number nine. Now that we have a centered data against an actual number, we can graph them. So here we have it, we have our blue original data showing the number of letters against each individual text. And of course we also have our, in purple, our two point average smooth with centering. So that has reduced the variation or fluctuation that was present in the blue data, the original letters data. From that, we can also do a linear regression. So for this data, the two point moving mean with centering linear regression line states that the letters is equal to 85.66, take away 1.76 multiplied by the text number. And from that, we can make predictions. 
Let's now look at how we perform these calculations and generate the graphs using the TI Inspire CAS calculator. Let's construct the two point moving average with centering. So we'll put a heading up first. So we have a two point moving average with centering. Now the first point of the two point moving average with centering was centered around message number two. And from memory, it is the average of two separate averages. So the equation we're going to use is equals and then I want to put a fraction in. I want to work out the mean of B1 colon B2. I'm going to add to that the mean of B2 colon B3 and then divide by 2. It's worked out the average of cell 1 and cell 2, and then it's added to that the average of cell 2 and cell 3, and then divided it by 2 to work out the average of both. So the challenge with using our TI Inspire is there is no middle column here for the original smooth data. This is smoothing and centering all in one step. So again, that's the mean of B1 and B2 plus the mean of B2 and B3, and then average by dividing by 2. Now, all we want to do is copy that down to cell 9 and press enter. So there we have it. There's our two point moving average with centering for our data. So that's taking B1 and B2 and averaging it with B2 and B3. That's taking B2 and B3 and averaging it with B3 and B4. It's taking 3, 4 and averaging it with 4, 5 all the way down to the last one which is taking 8, 9 and averaging it with 9, 10. We have no data for here, and as always, so it graphs properly, we need to add the underscore. Enter that in. That's our data for a two-point moving average. Let's have a look at this graphically. Go back to the home, put in my graph. First of all, I want to look at the letters versus the messages. There's our original data. I now want to go to Menu, Plot Properties, Add a Y, and I want to use a two-point moving average with centering. Very good. And now while we're here, plot properties, I just want to add in the connecting data. So here's our original blue data that has considerable variation of fluctuation. And here's our two-point moving average smooth the centering with the orange coloring. Okay, so you can see that it's taken out considerable variation. Some of these large and small values of the original data still move around our, um, our smoothed with centering data as well. But there's our line. Finally, if I wish to, I can look at that as a graph. I can look at the two-point moving average with centering and compare that against the messages. I can then add, can then add a regression using the A plus BX format. And that gives me a graph of a two-point moving average with centering value for the number of letters is equal to 86 take away 1.8 times the text message number. Let's look at now a four point moving average smooth for centering. We'll see how this differs. Same process, we're working out the average of four points. So we take our first four points, 88, 79, 83, 80, add them together and divide by four, gives us an average value of 82.5. So that's smoothing it. However, at the moment, that is aligned against the point 2.5. The next four gives us 78.75, we go down one spot. Then the next four, and the next four, and the next four. And then our final four is the last four bits of data. 82, 68, 71, and 66. Add them together, divide by four, gives us an average value of 71.75. And that's a line between message eight and nine, or if you like, 8.5. Again, we can't graph time series with 0.5s. So we need to repeat this centering process. Remember we use a four point moving average to work out both the 82.5 and the 78.5. However, when we center, we're only looking at these two. So we average out 82.5 and 78.75, and that gives me a value of 80.63, which is aligned or centered against message number three. We now average out the next two smooth pieces of data, the 78.75 and the 76.75, and that gives me and centered value of 77.75, and that's centered against message number four. 
And we repeat this process where we average out two at a time, two at a time, two at a time. And finally, our last points involve the two smoothed values of 73.0 and 71.75. And we have now a centered value of 72.38. It's the average of these two as shown up on our top right. And that is centered against message number eight. So there's our completed data. Our original values, our smooth data, and our centered data. So here's our graph. The blue again is our original data, and the gold is our four-point moving average smooth with centering. So you can see that's a very straight line. We have eliminated a lot of the variation or fluctuation from the original data as shown in the blue graph. Much improved linearity. So once again, we can generate a linear equation for a linear regression for a four-point moving mean with centering. And the equation for this one is, letters is equal to 84.80, take away 1.61 times the text number. And from that, we can make predictions and answer questions. Let's now look at this using the TI Inspire. Let's consider a four-point moving average smooth with centering. So we'll put a heading up first of all. So we've got a four-point moving average with centering. So this first value was centered around the number three, one, two, three. So in this cell, it's equal to a fraction, the mean of the first four pieces of data in column B. So it's B1 colon to B4. Then we're adding to that the mean of B2 to B5. And then we're dividing by two. So this is taking values one, two, three, four, and working out an average, and then values two, three, four, five, working out an average, and then finding the average of those two averages. Gives me a value of 80.625 fills in the blanks with lines to suggest there's no numbers available for that particular row one and row two. Now we click on that and we hold the center of the stylus down and we drag it down to column eight. And we press enter and that fills all our data. Very good. So let's check this again. Our first four point moving average smooth with centering involved averaging out the average of B1 to B4 and the average of B2 to B5. Divide by two finds the average of both. Go down one, it's from B2 to B5 and B3 to B6, finding an average. Go down one more, it's three to six and four to seven and we average. All the way down to the last one, which was six to nine and seven to 10, looking for an average. And of course, we must remember to fill in the gaps with our underscore to allow graphing later on. We want to look at a linear regression. Otherwise we have difficulties. So that's all good. There's all our data done. Let's look at this graphically. So first of all, we've got letters versus messages. There's our original data from our menu. Let's go to properties and we're going to add a Y variable. And this one was a four point moving average with centering. So there's our data. Our four point moving average with centering as shown in the orange here has really removed fluctuations considerably. That's a nice smooth. Menu, properties, let's connect our data points. There we go. So our blue data shows the original data against the messages. And so that has got considerable variation of fluctuation. And then our four point moving average with smoothing has removed a lot of that fluctuation. That's a nice smooth graph. Finally, if we wish to, we could look for linear regression where I've got a four point moving average with centering against our message. And I can analyze, perform a linear regression, A plus BX. So the four point moving average with centering for the letters is equal to 85 take away 1.6 times the message number. You've been watching a Juddy Productions video if you've enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, then please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.